morning, internet. Is that better? That's way better, thank you. I appreciate it. So, oh. this is take like three or four, I guess? I don't know. Something like that. You have talked to your friend Brian about the ceiling. Yes. I think you know more about it than I do. I'm just upset that it has to be done. Right. When I started in college, uh, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. I probably still don't, but at that point I really didn't know. And so I was like, hmm, engineering, math and science, sounds cool. Uh, I lasted seven weeks in that. I don't know, I wasn't there. Either way, um, but my roommate in college was also in mechanical engineering, and his name is Brian. And so I had asked him, um, I switched majors to information technology, which worked out much better for me. But I had asked Brian about this project, and I said, we've got you know rough cut two by fours spanning the ceiling. I'm concerned about the weight of the drywall, you know, with the, the thin boards that are holding it up. You never told me that. And so he basically echoed my concern of that and said that we should really take the old plaster down because I had estimated the weight based on the amount from the closet that we removed uh, to be roughly 500 pounds, I think, at the dump for 62 square feet of wall surface. Sure. So when I multiplied that by then the square foot surface of the ceiling, we estimated that the plaster weighs about 1,500 pounds. And then the new drywall for that area would weigh another 1,000 pounds. And he was concerned about the risk of sag and or collapse with 2,500 total pounds hanging off of boards of that thickness. So, so excited. Allie was not happy to hear that we have to take the ceiling down. No, but not. you'd be a lot less happy if it collapsed on top of us while we were sleeping. Also true. So it's for the best. Uh, it'll probably make mounting the new drywall a little bit easier. The only part that's gonna suck is on top of our new wall because the plaster is in the way. So getting it out of there could be tricky. I'm not worried about that. Um, if we have to, I'll just saw that off. We'll leave that little sliver in there and then we'll just hang the drywall on the rest of it. That yeah, that's matter. not like a ton of weight over there. No. There's and it's, it's got a wall supporting it underneath it, so it'll be fine. Please don't send away anywhere. So yes, uh, we turned in keys to the old apartment. Hooray! I was um, there for that. Yeah, I, I had to laugh because they literally threw them on a photocopier and then gave me a receipt with a copy of the keys in very high resolution. That's ridiculous. So, I, I mean, I, my understanding is that the point of turning in keys is to prevent further access, but it looks like in this case... Give you a high definition. Right, like here's instructions on how to make your keys again in case you ever forget. So that's just silly, but either way. Uh, looks like Allie's gonna do some sanding. I don't want to, but I'm on my bedroom back, so I mean, that's the thing I have to do. Right. I'm thinking whenever we do the ceiling, we should cover the floor as much as that doesn't necessarily make sense, just because I'm worried about the dust and the cracks. Like, you were concerned about the cracks as it was. Well, as I sand it, it's just gonna put more stuff in the cracks anyway. Okay. Does that make sense? Alright, well, I guess I won't bother. But... Are you planning on removing the ceiling today? Um, possibly. Okay. I have to make a place to put it first, which means emptying the drywall off the trailer. That's also true. So I thought you your father was going to help with that as well. Well, we have to work around his schedule if you want his help. Well, when's the schedule? I don't know. I well, let's him. find out! <laughs> anyway, we have a bunch to do. Um, I'm trying to go what else besides sanding and removing the ceiling. And did you cut that hole in the closet? I didn't yet. I actually will do that today. Uh, I will cut the hole in the closet today. Cool. That's easy. I'm gonna sand in my PJs because I don't want to wear nice clothes. Well, you might as well. You have to wash them anyway. Right. So. All right. While he works on sanding, I need to get all of this lovely wiring, which has been stretched out down the length, uh, actually put up into the ceiling, and then we actually need to hang the new panel. Unfortunately, that will be complicated by this drain pipe right down here. Because it sticks out from the wall, um, the studs that I want to put in place will actually run into it. So that's going to get redone. I'm going to move it up onto this ledge so that it'll be between the studded portion of the wall and the other section. Um, so that basically runs up all the way over. The new panel is going to be in this area over here, uh, but obviously this guy's in the way. So we have a small plumbing project to do basically to um, upgrade this as well. This is this currently runs to the washing machine up on the second floor. Uh, eventually our bathroom is gonna be in that space, so I'm gonna upgrade this two inch line to a three inch line, and that way it'll work for our future needs. But it's essentially gonna run all the way across on top of this wall, and then make a 90 degree bend, and then go across that way. It's also sloped uh, too much. The maximum slope you're supposed to do is uh, I think a half inch per per foot, 
Um, this is obviously way more than that, so we'll have to update that as well. But yeah, my main goal is to put it in the actual gap of this wall so that I can then mount studs in this area and we can do our new panel. So yeah, small plumbing project to do in order to then be able to do an electrical project. You know, it just never ends around here. Where's everybody going? Where's everybody going? All right, bye. I don't know where that dog is. The double? Yes. Okay. And then it will come straight up because my new pipe, instead of running down here, is going to run in this gap. Okay. Which will be behind our studded wall someday. Okay. So what I'm going to do is come up and then do a Y and then bring that three inch line basically down. In and around. Yeah, we could do it on a 45 depending on clearance to this like corner point or we may have to do it that way and then basically come in Loop back the side in. with a this is four inch, but it'd be a three inch elbow into that. And then this would continue up to service the rest of the stack. I believe this is the second floor bathroom that comes in, which is already mostly PVC. Okay. Um, we're not gonna quite transition all of this cast iron out yet, but we will eventually. And I think this is the first floor toilet based on where everything lines up. Okay. So eventually, like out for, for today, I'll continue this up and then we'll reuse this rubber coupler, except instead of being on this piece, I'm gonna cut off here and we'll put it on this piece. So we're gonna eliminate this section of cast iron today, and then we'll do the rest later. Okay. My reason for doing that is I need this to be at a height sufficient to get my new line into it, and this is in the way. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna redo the way they did their clean out stuff. Since we're gonna do a finished wall, I'm using a flush clean out instead of the Y. Okay. Uh, which would let us bury it behind an access panel, mm. whereas mm. this cannot be mm. done. Yes, 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 yes. So. I like all of those things. Okay, cool. So that's the plan. And then this pipe here is being eliminated and replaced with a new three inch line that will run here. And I don't know why I've been torn into this project, but apparently you need my help. Well, yeah. Working with the big lengths of plumbing and holding them at the correct angles. And okay. It's a lot easier when you're not alone. Okay. So the good news is it doesn't appear to have any conflicts with the potential asbestos. So we should be able to do that. There's a hole in the wall. Was that satisfying? That was satisfying actually. You are a destructive individual. Oh my god, that is the nastiest thing I have ever seen. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. That is so gross. You got a lot of blades for that thing. Well, there's, just, there's three different kinds. There's the, what they call the axe, which is for wood. Mm -hmm. uh, the torch, which is for metal. And then this one is the RECA, which is general purpose. And the design of the teeth changes for each. Ah. So. But it saws all. Well, that would make sense that you wouldn't be able to use the same blade for wood that you would for steel. No, that makes sense. And now it is time to cut out this pipe. Done. Empty drain pipe. We have no surprises yet. No water's come out of it, so that's, that's, good. A, that's a plus. That's a good thing. It means it works, right? Yes. 
Do we dare find out what's in this corner? Oh, behind those panels? Yeah. I don't know if it's just flat wood. It almost has the look of where they previously mounted an electrical panel. But there's... Because there's like a remnant of a staple in okay. the upper left corner. I don't know if I pull the boards if there's going to be a hole behind it. Right. That's what I'm concerned about. I don't about. feel like a draft or anything, so no. you wouldn't think it would be a hole. That's just very weird. So. This house is full of weird... Ta -da. No, don't look in the pipe. That's gross. Gross, Steve. Gross. We're building piece that's going to connect the final elbow of the over. This would be the section that would go up towards the bathroom. And then this little guy sits in the middle. And because we have two inch pipe coming down today, we're going to do essentially this. Um, and eventually someday we will cut this guy off and put a union on instead. The idea there is that we will continue three inch all the way up. Uh, we just don't have that ready to do today. So this will adapt the existing washing machine line into our new 3-inch and allow for the future expansion to a bathroom. So we got to glue all that. I usually try to get all the shavings from the sole out. They just get caught in the glue. I love that you have blown both knees out of your pants. Out of, out of both pairs of work pants, yeah. <laughs> So what are you doing now? This is clear pipe cleaner. As you can see, it basically rips the uh, lettering right off that pipe. <laughs> Probably not a super safe chemical in terms of human health. Fumes don't smell real great, but as long as you don't eat it, you're usually okay. And this basically removes anything that would prevent the glue from sticking as well as it should. Sometimes you'll see this as like a purple primer. Uh, the only real difference between the purple and this is the purple dye. Uh, some places require it under their plumbing code basically to see that you used it. Uh, this is not one of those places, <laughs> so I prefer the clear cleaner because it makes less of a mess. Yes, this is a reducing coupler. It goes from two inch to three inch. So it's supposed to be used in the opposite direction normally? No, no, it's, it's going to be in the correct direction. You never want to go from big pipe to small pipe because uh, Essentially, it's a volume problem. So if you imagine when you close a lane on a highway, what happens to the traffic? You don't want that to happen to the things that come out of your toilets. That's gross, Steve. But yeah, this lets you put small pipe into big pipe. So what's this stuff? This is PVC cement. It's sort of a clear gelatin-like substance. And you basically paint it on both sides of your joint. So both the piece, and the outside. piece going in and the coupler receiving it. And then you stick them together, turn 90 degrees and hold for 15 Three. seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, at that point, it has dried enough that you can let go. It's actually really funny on some of the larger diameter pipes if you put it in, um, without that twist, 90 degrees, it, you'll actually feel it forcing its way back out. When I was assembling uh, four inch PVC on my radon system at my old house, they, the, the push on those pipes was just unreal from the glue. Are you sure we're working on a plumbing project? I'm actually secretly building a potato cannon. This is where the potato would go and it'll be a small explosion. Actually, no, that'd be a terrible design for a potato gun. Not that I would know anything about that sort of thing. The first piece of pipe has been installed. Oh, da! How does that look? It looks bigger. It's just the only thing I can say. And it goes behind the old panel, and then there is a corner all ready to go over here. And then we are going to put pipe all the way over to under the window. We're going to put in a new pipe for the kitchen sink that will go up here because where it is now, it comes in a terrible place and they're just trying to avoid this window. And I have no feeling for this window. I just don't care about it. So it can go away. <laughs> so that's our next plan. Steve is currently running around like a crazy man getting stuff. I didn't know I had a zoom on the front. This is cool. What? That's rad. Let's see what Steve has brought us. What do you have, Steven? 
Lamba? What are you doing with all this Lamba? Lamba things. So this represents where the new wall will be. So when I tried to do this earlier, we ran into the two inch pipe right about here. It would have overlapped by about three quarters of an inch because it was too far that way. So this represents where the wall will someday be. And we're gonna mount the electrical panel right here. So really what we've done is we have moved the pipe enough so that we can put in a new wall and the pipe Correct. will be hidden behind it. The pipe is now in the wall and okay. then as well we beefed it up from a two inch to a, to three, a three inch. inch. To support so the future. So I over here have been like, we didn't do squat. <laughs> but apparently we actually did enough to put in a new wall and not look at this hideous wall anymore. Well that was the whole reason that I needed to do this plumbing project before the panel. Was to make sure the pipe I, was I needed it. two more inches that way and then we could build a new wall. The stuff you do for two more inches. Pipe is almost here. Ta da! Now I need to get this off. You know that part of the horror movie where, like, you know they shouldn't go in there, but they do anyway? I feel like this is that part of the movie. Yeah. I'll give you that. Don't go into that room full of chainsaws. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. <laughs> This is going to, oh no, it's gonna be a shit show. Oh no. Oh, that was gross. It's still not moving. Is there pressure? Do you think there's more water in there? No, if it had pressure in it, it would be leaking more than it is. That's true. Just need to coax it enough that it moves. Maybe you should take it to dinner first. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna hope that's rust. Uh, yeah, it, let's just say it's rust. <laughs> but like, I can't tell where one ends and the next one begins. I think the, well, there's a I gap, think, there's yeah. a gap here. Uh-huh, so. but holy cow, what a nasty, nasty sight. That is disgusting. Ew. Get in there, internet. Tell me more about this gross thing. Hunk here. You got any over there? A piece of strapping here that looks like it used to connect. Oh no! no longer does. Oh no! That's not perfect, but it'll work in a pinch. Right. It'll at least carry the weight until we're done down here. Uh huh. I think you're you're out. There is nothing on on top of it now. You might as well just chop it at the bottom, or are you just gonna pull it out? Well, my goal was to pull it out. I mean, I could slice it with the saws. Is it? Well, I'm wondering how it's attached down here. It looks like it's just inserted into this rubber coupling. Okay. So we so you should. Just need to give I mean, it a I, good I could, I could hack it and just kind of twist it out of there. Maybe. Do we need to cut a little bit here? That's what I'm wondering. Is like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Potato! This is so weird. Why does it just sit in there? Gravity. Uh, I said why, not how. <laughs> how much is in there? Oh, okay, that's it. Goodbye, weird PVC segment. You served your purpose while you were here, and now you will serve your purpose in the dumpster. Well, we can at least recycle it. I think PVC is recyclable. I don't know. You recycle everything. I try to recycle everything. I figure if they don't want it, they'll throw it away. All right, so we're gonna replace that with this. <laughs> which should also it looks much, much simpler. Yes. It smells, I can smell it now. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it smells like a cow farm. It's worse over here. <laughs> I'll stay over here, thank you. Phew, smell them ponies. 
Moo, 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 moo. Okay. So that'll be our first segment. Uh, how high up do you want your clean out? It's your clean out. What do you mean, me? Okay, our clean out. <laughs> and then do you want it to face this way or that way? Again, if you're okay, so if you're going to put a room where you're sitting, I mean, I would say if this if this is going to be a utility, utility space, then I yes, would it face should go that way. Plan for that. Because then what we can do is build this room so that it it. It's a wall here. Right, and then this whole area will then get waterproofed with that drain in the middle. Okay. And then the water heater can sit in there no problem. We, if it ever does leak, it will just drain out and, you know, at some point we'll, we, there may need to be like a little step up into that room then if it's going to be a completely waterproofed s solution. <laughs> but that way, if it ever does go, it doesn't ruin the rest of our beautiful finished basement. Wow, Steve, that looks a hell of a lot better than what was there. I agree. The advantage of this style clean out too, the flush style, is that if you need to come in here and get a clog out, you can go in that direction or this direction versus the Y, you can only fish down. Ah. The Y is this style pipe. Yeah, 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 that thing that was in there. That right. has now disappeared, which is great. Yep, so uh, now we'll just do a segment that goes up into our, speaking of our Y, this will be somewhere about here. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously where the, the metal piping is. So now, we're going to bring out our trusty old friend, Mr. Hitachi Angle Grinder. Which, which we all remember. Yes, anyone who remembers when we broke into Ali's storage unit, uh, this was our our tried and true friend for that. You ready? So, let's see how it does. This thing is very heavy. That's got some heft to it, but it's done. We have now, well, Steve, he did all of the hard work, but this is now cut very nicely. Ta da! That sounds like a personal problem. Right. Right here. Otherwise, it looks really good. Yep. Way, way better than what we it, made. This area here is the biggest difference. It's oh, okay. so much cleaner. So much cleaner. And we're going to celebrate because now we have to wait two hours before we can use any of the water in the house. So we're going to chill it. The stuff that we think has asbestos in here, I don't know if we've talked about this, are these pipes here, which are all heating pipes. Right. So at some point, we are going to pay a professional to come in here and remove all of the asbestos wrapping so that we can then relocate all of these pipes. But we can't do anything until we get a professional in here to remove all of that stuff. Yeah, that'll be a project down the road. Down the road, yeah, probably in the summer. I don't want to do it in the winter. But anyway, I'm excited. We now have this done. So we're actually, we're gonna go to Lowe's after we go to Chili's or before, I don't know how that's gonna work. We're gonna buy paint for upstairs because most of the sanding is done, but not quite. I have one more wall I need to do, but that's the one that the electrical is on mm -hmm. that needs to come out. Right. And then we also need to buy the two by fours, all the framing to start building this wall and that back wall. And then that way we have something to one mount this pipe to because right now it's being held up by like little pieces. <laughs> little of little temporary pipe. blocks, yeah. <laughs> that's um, not the permanent solution. I did buy J hooks and we're gonna do this the proper way. Right, so we'd like to build out that wall and all we're literally gonna do is just frame them out because that way we have something to mount the pipe to and we have something to mount the box to. Um, because we're putting in that new electrical panel to do the sub panel thing to move everything over to the new panel. Yep. And that's it. That's our, that's, that's a, that's a lot of progress today. I feel like we did really well. Mm -hmm. Getting this done was huge. Yeah. So, really neat. a couple hours of plumbing work. The hardest part was cutting this metal part. Oh my god, that was the worst. I'm not sure if you talked to them about that, but yeah, <laughs> we had to cut that segment out. Yeah, I talked to them about that. Yeah. You were here. Yeah, that was not fun. Thank <laughs> you.